right, hello beauties. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a minute, y'all. I needed a break. I did. I really needed a break, y'all. I needed to think. I needed to pray. I needed to meditate. I needed to just listen, you know, be quiet and listen. I can do it again, you know, because I'm not just saying I'm fully there, but I'm feeling kind of like refreshed. Social media, especially Instagram, I wasn't doing most of. And I just needed a break. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to get away for a while and just be about my Lord's business. You know, giving my all to Him. You have to take some time off because you can get so, so caught up into all of this, this social media world here. Everything is, it's nothing the same. You just have to get away and you really got to just decompress, re-energize yourself and get yourself back on track. You know, this stuff here can be so depressing. You know, social media, all of it. And I do have a, a full-time job outside of YouTube, but I love YouTube as one of my hobbies. I love, love, love YouTube. I love all of my subscribers, y'all. You just don't know. I felt so guilty because I left without saying that I was leaving for a while. I'm glad to be back, you guys, and I'm back here with a video to get ready with me with some new products that I want to try, and I also got some items here that I wanted to share. I had ordered, ooh, probably, I don't know how many months it's been since I ordered this stuff. And this here is just a very affordable makeup items. Uh, they are more, mainly might be in drugstores and it's the LA Colors I uh, ordered. And then I got like foundation. And I know this is gonna be a long video, but it's okay. I've been gone for a while and I just wanna share with you guys. So these here are their foundation, LA Color Foundations. And I read some good reviews on these foundations before I even ordered these. And I also got some of their mineral pressed powder. And then I also have two of their pigment, uh, ice pigment powder. And I have Gleam and I have Glam. So I have moisturized. And I'm going to use a primer from one of my Boxy Charms. I'm not quite sure. It got to be from my either February or either January boxy charm. So it's the No Pore Primer. It's the No Pore Blim Primer by Touch and Soul. And so I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit onto my finger here. And I'm just rubbing it in the area where I really, really, really need... Uh, Way to minimize my pores. Kind of been working on that too. But lately, guys, I haven't even been wearing a primer. Okay, and I also have a new sponge I want to try, and I was going to share it with you guys before I even tried it. It says the Fresh Protecting Blender is infused with antimicrobial microbial silver to keep your sponge cleaner. Fresher for longer, I guess for longer use, I guess. And then finish that off. Okay, so we're gonna try this. And then also I forgot to share, and I probably gonna be sharing this in a lot of the other videos. It's the LA Colors Eliminating Skin Enhancer, uh, Light Reflecting Drops, and I have it in the shade Sun Goddess. And I've been using this a lot with my MAC foundations, and wow. I love it. And I'm not sure which one of these is going to work for me. Okay, I got two that's in a radiant shade. I have, I mean, three in a matte shade. So I'm not quite sure. I think I want to try the radiant ones since my skin is now so dry. And I have two shades. And the first shade I have is ginger. And then the second shade is chestnut so i'm just gonna check try them out and we'll do this together and before we get started with the foundation i'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows 
and I'm gonna use my precisely my brow pencil in uh, by Benefit, and I have it in the number five. You got your spoolie on one side. So I just really, really been into um, just like simple makeup lately. Not really doing a lot. Been keeping the makeup simple, you guys, especially for work. And if you want to see a detailed brow tutorial, please thumbs up. Comment down below to let me know that you do. And right now, I'm just, I'm just going to fill in my brows. Just lightly strokes. They need to be cleaned up for as plucking and... So that's what my brows looking like right now. And then I just go ahead and just kind of like, I don't just really feel the, the front part in. I'm going to find something to clean these brows up with. I guess I'm going to take my um, Morphe Fluidity Concealer in the shade C3.45. Yes, you guys, I did miss you guys, and I'm so, uh, well, I'm not going to say I'm sorry for not being here, but it's just something that I needed to do. It was just like a fasting for me. I don't like to really tell people what I'm doing, because what, you know, I do for God is what I like doing, you know. He needs my attention more, and in order for me to give you guys my all, I think I need to... Have the time for him, you know. Give him my time first. And I know a lot of you guys do understand what I'm coming from. But, you know, he just, he's my main source. And in order for me to do anything, you know, the right way and get things done that I need to get done, I have to include him in my life, you know, in everything that I do because... Bringing all of this concealer down on my lids. So I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base. And I might be all over the place right now with you guys, but bear with me. But I'm going to go ahead and set that. I'm just going to take some of my MAC Skin Finish and just set that on my eyes. Okay, you guys. Um, and what I want to go ahead and do, I didn't clean up the top brows. I need to find like a darker shade in do that because I don't want them to be so harsh. I might try my um, shape tape. And I think I have this one in dark. Okay, so I got the brows all together. I can get them on fleek, you know, but I'm not, I'm not really worried about them being so on fleek today. I just wanted to come back with you guys to you guys with a makeup look, chit chat with you guys. I'm glad to be back with my girls, you know. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the foundation because I'll get to the eyes later. I'm not sure which one of these gonna match my skin tone, but we're gonna see. Let's see. And then I'm gonna use the other one. No, that's a little bit too light. I don't know. I might have to mix them. That's a little bit too light. And I think I'm just going to wipe that light one off. This shade here that I'm going to use is ginger. And then we're going to use this eco, eco tool. And we're going to see how it works. Okay. All right, we got the sponge all wet, all wet and everything. So, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more foundation. I think I got too much and I don't like the smell. So, I started blending and it might, it look like it's a lot red and I probably can just mix it
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little of this chestnut. So this one I have on my face right now is ginger. And don't look like it look like ginger is a tad bit too red for me. And I probably can use a little bit more. I'm just mixing it in on top so it won't look so red. I can see right now that it's not covering up my hyperpigmentation because I do have some lid here on the jaw. And you know I have that melasma right now on my face. But hey, y'all, I've been working on that. It's really lightening up. And I have a little bit here. It says that this foundation is this LA Colors Radiant Skin Nourishing Long Wear Liquid Makeup. Oh, it's, don't say full coverage. So I guess it just might be just buildable, but I'm not going to put a lot. Okay. Um, I don't know. What you guys think? So for concealer. For my under eye, I think I'm just going to go in with um, with my Morphe, the one that I put on my lid, this Morphe Fluidity um, C3.45. And if you hear any noise in the background, y'all, it's raining like cats and dogs. It's raining. Then I might take my Fenty Beauty and kind of put it on top of it, and this one's is in the shade 380. Just kind of tone it down a little, especially under my under eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the same sponge and and this concealer, y'all, is is it blends out good. The Morphe concealer. Ooh, I'm loving this sponge so far, y'all. I'm loving, loving, loving. And sometimes when I do my makeup and highlighting stuff, I might have to go back over my brows. Because during that time, I've just been um, kind of wiped a little bit of it off. The sponge is the bomb, y'all. I think I'm going to love this. Then um, I'm just trying to like get rid of these harsh edges. So I'm just going to blend. Okay, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and... Set so far, it's not even creasing under my eye. Wow, wow, wow. I am liking this. I don't know. It's just, I'm, I'm so surprised. And, but I think I want to use my Makeup Revolution. Okay. But I also like to press it in. And let me get a brush so I can just kind of wipe this off. And then I got my Fenty, I guess these matchsticks. I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. And my husband is out in this rain. Y'all, I mean, it's raining here in Louisiana. We have gotten plenty of good rain. I'm not complaining. But we have gotten the rain, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and set those areas. And what I'm going to use is my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Press Powder. Um, I guess it's, yeah, press powder, more like a press powder. I'm gonna use the 360. And I'm gonna see, the 360 is Mocha. I'm gonna use 355 to set it all over. And this one here is in the shade Coconut, 355. And I'm taking my Morphe E41 brush. And 
and blending everything in together. Okay, so what I'm going to go next in with is this Wet n Wild Highlighter. Uh, it's a loose highlighter powder in the shade Hustle and Glow. This here is a Morphe R37. Who don't love a pretty glow? Then I'm going to touch it up with something else. I think I'm going to use my Master Chrome here by Maybelline. And it's in the shade Molten Gold. And this is... Shit. I'm going to go ahead and take this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm just going to go ahead and Ooh. this Contour Kit by Kiss. I'm going to take those uh, two shades right there and I'm just going to um, put that in all over my lid from the crease to my lid. So also in this palette, I take that gold. I take this gold right here and I just use my ring finger and just put a lid on the lid. I'm gonna go back into the outer V in this both of these shades and kind of deepen the outer V. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply both of them two shades at the bottom. And then we're going to find something for the inner, inner corners, the Master Chrome. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeliner in black, more black. Then I'm gonna take the other end and kind of smudge it so it won't be just too harsh. And next, I'm going to go ahead and just tight line a little. And y'all, I'm not really used to just doing a video where I just talk through because it seems like it takes forever to get done. And I don't like that because I feel like I come to have you guys with this long video. And, and I don't like for the video to be that long. So. I'm just gonna find something glossy to go on my lips. I'm not gonna even line my lips, you guys. And I'm gonna take this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and I'm just gonna apply some to my upper and lower lashes. And y'all, I might not even apply any lashes. Oh my God, cause I, I'm kinda digging it. You know, sometimes I, I don't wear lashes to work, y'all. Because we done forgot what we started off with. Mascara. No lashes. And now we just like, we can't do the look without the lashes. Because, you know, the lashes kind of make it pop. So, yeah, I'm just going to not put any lashes on. I'm just going to apply my mascara. Okay. So I got those lashes coated real good. And I hope you guys can see them. I'm not going to do lashes. We're going to stay just a little bit natural when it comes to the lashes today. 
So and then I'm gonna take this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Pauline. Just a simple, neutral, nude look. You know, when you won't, don't want to do colors. It's, okay, you guys, that is my look. Fix any brows. So this is my look. So we're going to go ahead on to the hair. Oh, yes. Um, This here is a synthetic unit that I have. And it's... I have worn it, but I didn't get a chance to share the whole unit with you guys. I did have it on in a video, but I had a cap on with it. And it said, ready, set, go, period. Quick and easy wig in just three seconds. Styling is the new easy go. Uh, Feeding me. So, and it's in a bob style. And I kind of want to change this, this unit up a little bit. I kind of want to do it different and it has a bang and I think I'm going to cut these sides. I don't really like the, the long sides like this and just kind of even them out. But I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like on me first. And it has um, the whole four net on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. You have a comb in the back and you have... And I like that wide comb there for the back. And you have a comb in the front. Well, you have a comb in the front and a comb in the back. And you have adjustable straps on it as well. And you see the the size of like this. And it seems like this black shade is just washing me out. And I love for my bang to just kind of be in my face. And I think I'm just going to cut these off. And I'm going to show you the back. And you can either do it like that. It's cute like that. I'll put it behind my ears. And you might. I think I won't cut it just yet. But if you want to, you can cut those ends off. I love this bang. I love my bang to be kind of long in my eyes. I like that. I don't like a short, real short. Bang. And then you it's the perfect. Then I'm going to put some concealer or something up here in this little spot. <laughs> Just kind of make it look like it was a scalp there. And I'll put it behind my ear. Okay, you guys. I moved away from this chair because it just, oh my God. What you guys think? Oh my God. Yeah. And then you can just cut those ends off. I might end up cutting these off and just put it behind your ear and just wear. And I think I paid maybe $21 for this unit. It's more than $19 plus tax. Yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm glad to be back. And I know I rambled. I know this is probably going to be the longest video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you would like for me to do videos like this and we talk. I know I didn't do a whole lot of talking. But I'm learning to be able to talk and do my makeup at the same time with you guys. Because if you like to chit chat, hey, I'm willing to do that. So, yeah. And then plus, I can... Top it off with some more gloss. I'm using my Nika K uh, a lip gel. Yes, and I think that's it, you guys. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you guys think. 
And what you think of this unit here, just a synthetic wig, but y'all real and truly, it feels real. It feels like a yakky unit, a yakky hair. And it's not too thick and it's not too thin. The ends are just, I don't know, but you can like place it behind your ear if you didn't like it like that. And then um, when I come back the next time, what we'll do, we'll just cut those ends off. Because, you know, I might wear this this summer just because it's short. <laughs> and, and I got more units to come. And, yeah, I guess I could say this is the end of the video. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I hope you guys come back and join me, the beauty fam, as we continue this uh, journey on this platform. And until next time. You all be blessed and don't forget to be a blessing. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Love you.